Uncle Clips. Tracing where Cat Williams comes from, you keep pointing at Hollywood. Hollywood this, the white man, this, this, and this. When do you take responsibility for your actions? You had the shot. Cat was in that position at one you point. You were the guy. Yeah. You were set up to be the star. You didn't show up to work. You fucked off promo shoots. You fucked off your promo fucking uh, trips that they had set up for you. You became a risk to the studios, which is why the studios stopped fucking with you. Why was he a risk? He chose drugs. Oh, okay. Take responsibility for what you chose and say, you know what? I got to fix me, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to stand up for comedy. Mm -hmm. So when you say Tiffany Haddish doesn't deserve or isn't really a comedian, and these other women have worked hard, which they have. Mm -hmm. Shouts out to Melanie Cam Camacho. Shouts out to Lou Nell. Mm -hmm. Shouts out to Leslie Jones, who are all underneath the umbrella of Cat Williams. Cat Williams, have you ever used your platform to fucking bring the people that were under you up? Mm. You haven't. So because you haven't, don't shit on those that now are. I've used my platform, and I brought my guys and girls up. Mm -hmm. The brand of Captain Hart is a brand that's expanded so far, whether you like me or not, my presence of comedy will forever be felt. Because mm. I'm a fucking boss. Tracing with Cat Williams. Yo, you know what I'm saying? I could disagree with that, and I could agree with it at the same time, but do I think Cat Williams was on drugs? Hell no. That's what they say about everybody in the industry. They expose these motherfuckers. They say the same thing about Kanye. He started exposing the Jews. They be hating. That's that crazy shit, but let's get into the next video, you know. He also said uh, Cat Williams bet him a mid $5 million to do a versus battle. Let's get straight into it. For play play. If you do it for real, here it is, Kevin. I got a show at your hometown in Philly. I'm going to take my special there. On that stage, we can put whatever you want. A full court basketball court. A boxing ring. Two microphones for a rap cypher. Or you can get your ass dusted in comedy on that stage. But it's one million dollars up for each one. That's $5 million, Mr. 28 million in Forbes. I'll be bringing mine in cash, Mitch. Bring yours however you want. And since you're not a puppet, don't bring no white people with you then. That's a $5 million bet individually. You can take it all or you can take it part and parcel. This is the new movement. For play play. If you do it for real, here it is, Kevin. I got a show at hometown. So just like that, guys, as you can see, you know, he had a couple of things to say about Kevin Hart. But this is the In real Philly. But this right here is the real clip everybody was, you know, talking about. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A. he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. You didn't know? <laughs> yeah, Kevin Hart purchased it, so he's now doing uh, Comedy View. That happened at the same time that they gave DC Young Fly uh, Hollywood Squares. Where? Yeah, because they tell you that there's no gatekeepers, but we keep seeing the same people open the gate. Didn't Kevin open the gate and let Tiffany in? Word. And he now opening it up for, don't such and such open the gate, but what do you mean ain't no gatekeepers? There's a hundred gates out here. Would you I, I, everyone I've seen got a keeper. I know so many things I shouldn't know, and they all... He already had his deals when he got here. Just like he said, man, he know a lot of shit that he shouldn't know, you know. And all these motherfuckers that wore dress, you know what I'm saying? But, dear, think about it. Tyler Perry's a billionaire now. Kevin Hart, 